you so much for taking the time to hang out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. I love all of y'all. Tonight, we're going back to Skyrim. Hold on a second. My mouse is oh, just a little bit sluggish at the moment. I I'm, ex I'm experiencing some uh, technical difficulties. So, like, uh, I've oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Why is that a thing? Hold on a second. What's going on? Everything is set up? All right. Now I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Hold on. Twi like, Twitch is acting a little funky. Here we go. Now we're live. Well, I've been live. All right, but I finally got everything adjusted, which I think is the most important thing. So before I get started tonight, I want to just give a quick shout out to Nezuku-chan76, who uh, gave me a follow just seven hours ago. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> maybe you discovered one of my videos, and if so, I'm really grateful. And uh, like, which one was it? Did you like it? I'd appreciate it if you let me know. But, uh, hold on, I gotta sign into Steam real quick. This time, I don't think I've made any mistakes <laughs> with uh, the game tag. Like, uh, you, you guys probably remember yesterday when my Minecraft playthrough uh, said I was in Cyberpunk 2077 because I, I just forgot to change the, the, uh, the game itself. Like, I remember to do all the tags now, but sometimes I forget to do the game. I, I think it says we're playing Elder Scrolls V. Hope we, I hope it says that. I probably should have played click to remember. Here we go. We're going in. I love like man. The beginning of Skyrim is always so nostalgic. Mostly because on the Xbox, like I had to sit through the intro for like a minute and a half while everything loaded. Like, I almost kind of miss it. My computer is so fast that I just, like, it rips through the introduction and the loading screen. Like, this thing is so fast, like, my TVs take longer to start up than my actual computer. It's actually kind of insane. And, uh, for those of you, like, uh, who aren't aware, my girlfriend, uh, who goes by Black Kitty 2, B L A C K K I T T Y 2. Uh, has begun streaming herself, and she started yesterday um, at like 1 a.m. Central uh, with Cyberpunk 2077. She's playing a nomad character. I forgot that I used Uthgird. Like, I forgot that Uthgird was my follower. I was straight up about to attack her. And uh, I would really appreciate it if sometime tonight you took a little bit of time to go and check out her content. Uh, now, maybe this. give her a follow, and... Uh, like, watch a little bit. She she worked pretty hard to get that set up. And she was doing her best. And I think she did an alright job. Well, I gotta take care of these guys. I've already killed everyone in this camp, but, uh, you know, at this point, it's like a compulsion. I see, I slice. I can't leave them alone. Now, today, I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing for this playthrough. Like,. I made it sound like I had a clue on Discord, but I really don't. <laughs> like, grab the booze, you know, and that's always the objective. But, uh, like, what am I going to be doing? Where am I going to be going? Who knows? Let's take a look at the map, actually. And for those of you just joining me, yes, this is on Legendary. I am not using any major exploits like the Restoration Loop. I am not going to be using the Secret Chest in Morthal. And, uh... Like, I'm not going to be allowing for any serious glitches. Like, I am not even allowing myself to carry the second Dawn Guard, uh, Dawnbreaker sword that I have. In my opinion, that was just a little bit overpowered against the Draugr. Like, I had a, a large difficulty with vampires before I got Dawnbreaker. But when I got my second Dawnbreaker, they became positively trivial, and I thought that that was somewhat game-breaking to my experience. Like, the difficulty is part of the reason why I'm, like, I'm doing this in the first place. And I don't, I'm not really trying to overpower myself too quickly. That's why I also haven't uh, really invested any points uh, into blacksmithing or enchanting yet. Like, ordinarily when I begin a playthrough of Skyrim, I immediately begin uh, blacksmithing and I begin enchanting. And I go for the ultimate set of armor as fast as I can. Especially because I like playing in Legendary. If you don't have a good set of armor, it's very hard to keep up. 
but not only is that kind of grind a little boring to watch for you guys, it also more or less well, it breaks my experience. The loot that I find uh, is suddenly trivial. I have a large amount of uh, money from my blacksmithing and, and enchanting, so I no longer have to worry. Like, I no longer have to uh, worry about uh, loot that I find along the way or saving up for houses. It, it, it's all easy to come by. It's also why I haven't started doing all the radiant quests for Thieves Guild right away. Like, uh... That would, uh, <laughs> like, that would definitely fill my pockets up quick. And I, I do need more money, but I, I don't need it so badly that I'd be, uh... Well, I, I don't... <laughs> I, I don't need money that badly. I guess I'll leave it at that. You know, I didn't even read that uh, journal. Is it uh, Hunter's Journal? Sorry, my new setup, like, my TV is somewhat blocked on the left side, so I can't read it. Alright, track down a small den of bears. Oh. Alright, so I think that that hunter is talking about this cave right here. So I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. I'm still not quite strong enough where I can handle bears easily on my own. But with Uthgur the Unbreakable here, I think I'm going to have an easier time of this. Alder's Cairn. Yeah, I'm not seeing any indication of, like, Falmer or... Ugh. Well, I gotta adjust the volume on this headset. It's really loud. And if the sound quality uh, is kind of obnoxious or it's too loud, just let me know down in the comments. I'd appreciate the input. Ah, Hear that crack? Oof. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Alright, so this isn't the bear cave. Th these are not bears. What the heck did I just stumble into? Uh, Rain. Rain. That's her name, right? V Vidgrod. And Agrius. They seem to have been an unfortunate fate. Alright, Agrius's journal and key to Halder Crypt. If I take this, it's probably going to open the door. So, Agri is one of the guys that we just found on that altar there. Alright. Almost like they were compelled to stay here. Alright. So, uh, maybe these are necromancers? Maybe these are, um, like, renegades from the College of Winterhold. Either way. I think I'm going to need some, uh, magic resistance for this. Too bad I don't have any, so I'm not going to worry about it. This trivial detail. This might actually be a Draugr tomb. Because this reminds me of, uh, the Dragon Cult. Oh, boy. What's down here? And I'm hearing, like, little whispers off in the corner. Yep. These might actually be the people that were sacrificed on that altar back there. So definitely a necromancer. I recall doing this quest at some point in the previous playthrough. I I've done all of them at some point. So I'd honestly be surprised if I came across a place that I didn't recognize. care of this guy and what do I have for a power here do I have no I don't where is my unrelenting force okay I do have that selected that reminds me I really need to complete at least the first stage of the main quest line at some point because I want to get the, the full Fusro dash out that's just fun you know it, it, it's fun to blast people off of cliffs especially my followers who won't get the hell out of the way <laughs> that's why we left Fondle back at Lakeview I'm getting a little cocky here. I need to heal up. Let Uthgur take care of him. 
Oh, she took care of him, all right. The last thing I want to do is retrace my footsteps and make up for all that progress lost. So let's save real quick. And now we continue our journey. Oh, now Foos rope. <coughs> so now Foos works. I was actually trying to use Foos a, uh, a few times back there, but it, like not once was I able to pull it off except for there when it was pointless. It, isn't that great? Ray zombie? Sure. Well, as long as we're fighting the necromancers, let's take a moment to uh, like take a leaf out of their book, shall we? Well, I don't see why not. I'm not in the College of Winterhold. And even if I join, what they don't know won't hurt them. You didn't see anything like this. But now we have a new follower. He's gonna be a, a lovely companion. I'm not sure why these guys didn't come up to kick my butt immediately. Well, they couldn't, you know, they're just Draugr, but... Like, for some reason, like, they're not aggroing properly, I, I probably could have just sneak killed them. Dwarven Greatsword? Why not? We like Dwarven Greatswords. Uthgur, Let's do you like Dwarven Greatswords? What do I, you need to take? I bet she'd like this thing. So, let's give it to her. Oh Freedom. yeah, that looks proper! That's proper! Okay, we're continuing. How do we open this? Where's the lever? There's gotta be something. A chain? Anything. My eyes are, are straight up starting to hurt from the, like these bright screens over the years. <laughs> I think at some point I'm going to need to get protective glasses for all of this uh, gameplay that I'm doing, guys. Because, like, I'm, like, legitimately, <laughs> my eyes are starting to get really strained from all of this. Okay, so that's the wrong way. It's this way. Ooh. Okay, so whale... At least that's how I'm interpreting this. This is one of the simplest puzzles ever. My god, man. Alright, so there should be a standing stone here, but there's not. So that's two whales. Whale, whale. And bird. There's only three stones to turn. And do those guys have names? I think these guys had names. I didn't get I didn't even like get the chance to catch them. Like I've noticed that uh you guys, the audience, catch more things than uh I do when I'm playing the game. Like there are certain aspects of gameplay that I'm focused on that prevent me from really noticing certain things. But uh y'all aren't caught up in the moment like I am, you're far more observant. So, if you catch anything that I missed, please let me know down in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so birds, snakes, whales. This should be it. Uh, so, let's give this lever another try. Perfect. I just kind of knee jerk press that lever before I had the whole puzzle complete. Oh my goodness. I broke a lockpick on an adept chest. I'm slacking. Bro, I'm really slacking. Come on, come on, get this right. There we go. Can y'all tell I'm a little out of focus? <laughs> like, I'm not as dialed in tonight as I am, usually. I'm honestly, like, uh, feeling more of a creative spurt right now, despite the, the level of exhaustion I'm feeling. So, hey, g dog, I got a chance to check out your video, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, it, like it, it seems like you're always streaming earlier in the morning. So I'm like I'm never awake during that time, so I couldn't catch you. But uh, like I did uh, take a moment to watch the videos for Fallout 76, and I'm definitely interested in it. I'm broke as a joke because of the holidays, but uh, I think that uh, after all the uh, the presents are bought, and uh, I'm sick of uh, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, I'm probably gonna get I'm probably gonna get Fallout 76 and give that a try, man. I'm looking forward to it. But otherwise, how are you, dude? It's been a minute. Yeah, I saw you streaming, bro. Did my auto-host work? Like, uh, Shinrod. Yeah, I liked it, man. And, no, I didn't? Damn. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take another look at that. I'm sorry, Shinrod. Like you're one of the like you're one of uh, the streamers that I have selected for that feature. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that it didn't automatically host, cause like it seems like it was working. It's at one point, like I know the auto host feature tuned in for uh, Shenanigan, but uh, like Twitch has just been rather finicky in that regard. And I'm doing pretty good. Like, tired, but relaxed, you know? Like, I, I'd been saying uh, earlier to my audience that I was probably going to readjust my schedule at one point, but I just, I can't stay away. I love streaming. No, G-Dog is a dirt check guy. <laughs> He's referring to somebody that uh, hopped onto my channel at one point and uh, asked me to build a dirt house for him on my Minecraft, uh, on my Minecraft realm. So <laughs> there's a little dirt hut sitting next to my castle called Paydar's Airbnb. I'm just waiting for that guy to return. Whenever he does, I'm going to show him the little dirt hut and show him how I decorated it. Have a nice por portrait up, a little flower on the chest. Just to let him know I care. Alright, dude. Have fun in GTA 5. Come on and chill if you get the chance. I'll be on for a few hours, Shinra. Yeah. I'll check that out, bro. Hey, Shenanigan. How's it going, dude? Did you just finish streaming? Yeah, you can see I'm having just a little bit of difficult... Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> don't, like, just so you know. Don't have to worry about nothing, Shenanigan, and everybody has these moments. Uh, I'm probably going to use... First off, let's take that Draught of Regeneration. I think I'm going to be here for a second. Let's grab that Draught of Health, too. I, I really like stocking up on all my potions. No stream tonight, move to the Thursday? Alright, just let me know what time so that I don't uh, stream at the same time as you. Because I know we share a few... I know we share a few followers. I don't want to take them away from you or make them decide. Hold on a second. Looks like I'm playing, playing Ring Around the Rosie for a bit. My only chance, and this is the item I was talking about. Like, this is the item that uh, Sour Patch was telling you about, Shenanigan, and this is the almighty, all-powerful vegetable soup. Now, this is especially useful for dual wielding, because it allows me to spam uh, power attacks over and over. Hold on a second, where are you at? It also, like, passively and slowly, but passively regenerates my health. And it lasts for a whole 12 minutes, 720 seconds. You can see how my stamina is basically bottomed out, and I can spam this. Really useful item. There aren't many items you can cook in the game that are quite like it. But I'd say if you have, like, if you're so inclined, you should collect some cabbages, leeks, tomatoes. I forgot the fourth one. Those, those four. The four. Like, take all four of those and brew your, cook yourself some vegetable soups at one point. You won't regret it. 
Okay, already raided this. Looks like I got Riorn's drum and Haldir's staff. Haldir's staff is going in the collection. I don't really want that axe. Well, it's, it's kind of valuable. But it's a little heavy. I don't know if I can even carry it. Where'd it bounce off to? Where's that axe at? Where, where'd I lose my baby? Where's my baby? Where's my axe? Damn it, just when I decide I actually wanted it. H hello? Where's my precious? My precious! My precious! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Bro. I'm actually kind of sad. Where'd my where where'd that axe go? I was only gonna sell it, but you know th that's money, man. That's that's money in the pocket. Oh, man. Why can't I ever have cool stuff? Okay. Let, let, let's just go, Uthgard. Let's just get out of here. After I take these mushrooms, I like I like collecting mushrooms. But yep, this is Uthgard the Unbroken. You might have fought her at one point. She's in the White Run Tavern. She's a really solid tank. Like uh, I, I play a fast-paced DPS character, so I, I kind of rely on my companion being a tank that uh, aggro's, uh, uh, like basically anybody. I forgot where I was going with this. Like, you ever get those moments when you have a thought and then it just vanishes? I get them constantly, and I'm experiencing a moment just like that. I'm <laughs> so sorry about that. I call it the poofening. I I've been poofified. I just saw... Okay, so there are enemies. Oh, I'm glad I'm up on the cliffs, man. I hate bears. Two bears. Alright. That's, that's just lovely. And they're, they're taking damage. Where, where are they taking damage from? And, and they made a feast out of these guys. Holy crap. Just rank. Oh. Well, I'm sure they're not going to miss any of this stuff. Uh, you can also make a venison stew. Venison stew is similar to a vegetable soup. Except it also uh, restores 15 points of stamina on top of giving you that passive regeneration effect. But venison is a little bit uh, rare to come by. At least it's a little more hard to collect. So vegetable soup is a perfect alter alternative. Oh, he's right next to me. Oh my goodness. Where'd you come from, pal? Uh, now I'll show you the power. Of the power tech spamming. How dare you even think you can defy me? Oh, I'm finally at the point where bears are trivial. That's a great feeling, man. Like, remember at the beginning of your playthrough where every bear you encounter absolutely wrecks you? You have to take, like, five potions, and... Like, it's either that or you run and you just let your, like, you let your companion, like, aggro and tank for you so you can get away. Man, I don't miss those days. Oh! Oh, that was an orc stronghold. I think it might be. I, I didn't, oh boy. Let's, let's get away. I, did, I didn't mean to. I actually wanted to become homies with the orcs. That's not good. I, I hope Boothgird doesn't get the wrong idea. Like, I'm just gonna chill for a second. Hopefully, hopefully they don't see me. Like, my stealth is garbage. I don't have any points invested in the sneak. Let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah, they're gonna find me. <laughs> they're gonna find me, dude. This isn't good. Ah, well. 
Oops, did I just do a genocide? It's not racist if I slaughter all these orcs, right? Okay, they're bandits. Thank God. Okay, so I don't have to worry about killing them. There's, like, bandits. No better than vermin. It's okay to kill them. Their wives, their lives, and children, they don't matter. Come here, dude. Let me put you out of your misery. Ow. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> uh, Uthgird's here. Cool. Like, let my heavy armor go up a little bit. Work on my archery. Uh, he's already panicking. Yeah, he's running. Poor guy. It's... <laughs> yeah, it's... Anybody who's seen both my Minecraft and my Skyrim Let's Plays, like, I, I, it's like a switch. I absolutely have different personalities for different games. I'm far more laid back and relaxed while I'm t playing Minecraft, but, uh, like, when I'm in Skyrim, I, I become a kleptomaniac and a genocidal maniac, like, and a genocidal psycho. Why do I have two Haldir staffs? Well, I'm I'm not complaining about it, like shit. I'm I'm just questioning, like, how did I get that? <laughs> Alright, what can I give her? That'll help me out with the carry weight department. Some studded armor? Alright. Let's go. Looks like I'm, I finally reached the point in the game where I should stop collecting all the studded armor. That's just a little too inexpensive, like not enough bang for buck. Even leather armor is starting to get to that point. Yeah. Did I forget to change the name? It just occurred to me, guys. I know what I forgot now, because I usually forget something for each stream. I forgot to change the name of the stream. My god, dude, I'm so forgetful. <laughs> what is this, day nine? I think it's day nine. I just have to type in the title. I'm I am very forgetful and I I apologize for that. I think I'm gonna say Conquering Falkreath. The hundred percent legendary no exploits. Run I think it's day nine? Yeah, it's day nine. This, this is something generic. I know this is really going to grab attention here. <laughs> Dude, it wouldn't be one of my streams if I like if I remembered everything right away. I always have to forget something, or it wouldn't be me. Like if I get the opening to my stream perfect, then like I'm not real. I'm fake. I'm a clone. Someone abducted me. All right. If I ever have a perfect launch, then the guy in the seat ain't me. He's a liar. He He's impersonating me. He took over my life. Call the cops. Get help. Alright. Ooh, button. I don't think I've actually been down there in the fortress yet? Maybe I missed it? 
No, I, I've definitely explored this place before. Because I, I remember encountering these orcs in another place. Where you're going to be hearing that a lot. I remember. I remember to really worry. How could I ever forget? As the pains in grow. Must he shall house. Too good for you and me. Choo -choo 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 Sorry, I had to subject you to that. It's like a compulsion. Once I got the thought in my head, I had to sing it. It's kind of, like that's what kind of worried me when I first shot that dude. It said orc hunter, and I was thinking, it's like, oh no, I just shot a civilian. Oh, Jesus Christ, Uthgard. That's badass. All right. <laughs> All right. So Uthgird will double will dual wield our uh, staffs. So that is good to know. Oh, who the hell are you, Gunzol? I like your armor. That's the first ancient Nord set of armor that I've found. Oh, what the hell? No! That's cheating. Bro, that's cheating. And I'm back with the bears now. And I'm moving at a slow crawl. <laughs> and just, just you wait, guys. Like, these bears are going to body me for some reason, even though I beat them handily the first time. My god, man. <laughs> that is an unfair setback. <laughs> I call shenanigans. Sorry, that was a bad pun, shenanigans. It was some shenanigans, though. I'm indignant. Oops. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna get body. No, don't do it. Don't do it, bad bear. I didn't even take a hit the first time I fought these guys. Pickle Rick, you seeing that? I'm caught in the loop now. Let's take care of the bears first. Hey. Alright. Hello. Taking my water? You're gonna come back down here and refill it later, right? Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my gosh. My hate for that, uh, my hate for the guy who shot me is just growing stronger right now. I'm about to show him the definition of some of the time. Love you too. Okay, Uthgrid's here. I can chill a little bit. I guess now it's a safe time to over-encumber myself. And then I'm gonna save after I'm done with this part. Even though I know it, like, those guys back at the camp before I enter are not gonna get me any trouble. I just, oh my goodness, having to redo all of this is, it's irritating, but whatever. I'm still here. But I could stand to be more positive about the situation. It's not the end of the world, you know? Alright. Why do I even have that fur armor? I'll toss that. I might as well just toss a studded armor too. That that's not gonna get me a lot of money. Uh, I have a feeling that this Nordic armor is uh, really gonna weigh me down. 
I'm not sure if I actually want to wear it or not, because the enchantments I have on this Dwarven set are ha not half bad. I think that the Dwarven armor piece that I have is giving me a plus 40 to my health. I think that the Dwarven helmet only fortifies illusion, so that I could, re I could stand to replace. But uh, the boots give me, uh, I think it's fire resistance, or it could be frost resistance. Like, these aren't effects that I'm too keen to lose. But then again, that Nordic armor just looks really, really cool. And it's better than the Dwarven armor that I have. Sacrifices might be made today. At the very least, I can give the Dwarven armor to Uthgard and she'll like it. But that steel plate might be better than the Dwarven armor. I think that steel plates actually requires level 50 to craft. Dwarven armor only requires level 30 blacksmithing. So the dwarven armor might possibly be a downgrade. And I only want to make, make my tank stronger. So it might be that I wind up giving that armor to Uthgird. At least it might be more valuable if she has it. Like, I'm not terribly concerned with my own defense, because as, as you've seen, I just get... I, like, I have solid heavy armor. And I, I have high... Like, I have relatively high health for my level. And that dude still one-shot me. It's kind of upsetting. Like, I don't really have a problem with getting killed legitimately in combat. But... Like, the way that certain enemies can kill cam you from a full health bar like that. Like, getting anywhere near a dragon, they can just scoop you up. <laughs> I've gotten eaten by too many dragons. One is too many, but... Like, my idea of too many is... It's, it's high. I've gotten eaten by a lot of dragons. So, I think... I'm just gonna go through here, and before I take care of the dungeon, I'm going to get my revenge. No sugarcoating it, this is revenge. I'm a little bit salty. I'm not thrilled to have been killed like that. You're not hitting me. Bring me to your boss. You did see my want. You peons can get out of my way. Kill damn me? I don't think so. Not in this realm. How dare you even? You even dreamed that you had a chance! A fatigue? Okay, cool. Ooh! That's a really nice shield. I might actually keep that one. Gives me that fat blocking bonus. And he, he doesn't have. Uh, like, he doesn't have some bad loot in here either. Pretty easy to flip a steel helm, but they're kind of like studded armor, so I might not keep too many more of those. Gunzel. So the dude has a name. I'm wondering what his backstory is. Like there must have been like a quest or something that I could have taken to kill him. Oh well, if I miss it, then it's no big deal. Can't grab the can't grab those boots, that's also not a big deal. Leather boots are only like 25 bucks for two pounds to carry away. It's it's not a great ratio. But I do want his arrows. Ooh, yeah, give me all that. I'm already over encumbered, but that's okay. Uthgird should be around any minute, and she is a brick poop house. I'm trying really hard not to swear. Can you tell? I Actually, genuinely, I want to make this channel family-friendly.
or at the very least, I, I want to work on controlling my potty mouth so that I can make my Minecraft videos family friendly. It's a kid's game and uh, it's mostly kids who find it anyway. It's like, you know how kids are. They see like an 18 plus thing and they're just going to click, yes, I'm 18. <laughs> and they're going to lie their way in. Like, and uh, banning all of them would just be a losing battle. The battle. And, uh, like, I'm. I've said this before, I'm becoming increasingly conscious of my influence on the younger people that are watching this channel. So I'm trying to become more of a positive role model. So as soon as I feel comfortable, like, labeling myself as such, which I'm thinking it's going to be when I hit affiliate, because I'm, it, it seems to be coinciding with it, with that goal. Like I'm going to be t at least for the Minecraft videos taking off the mature content warning, and shenanigan. And if you're watching, I'm aware that your channel is family friendly as all as well, and uh, I am going to be controlling myself uh, during our collaborative night. Uh, very grateful for these potions. But where is Uthgird? I'm moving at like a snail's pace because Uthgird isn't here to take my stuff. It, like, if this is how I have to do it, then so be it. At least I don't care about my carry weight. I can just grab all the valuable stuff. I'll take another Orca's shield, sure. Oh, what's this? It's gonna crawl my way over here. Rizlov the Righteous. Looks like I already have it. Don't need either of those, although Snowberries are Fortify Enchanting, and I will be using that a lot for this playthrough. So it might be that I want uh, to start collecting Snowberries for the future. That day is not today, but it might be soon. I like to get my alchemy up to level 100 all at once. Uh, I'm slowly collecting ingredients for it. That reminds me, I'm going to have to start checking my local alchemy shops for Giant's Toads. Oh, hey, Black Kitty, what up? She a pretty kitty. Still a mole rat. Oh, am I the mole rat? I don't feel like a mole rat. How am I a mole rat? No lamb. A naked mole. Is this a bald joke? Oh, you're a naked mole rat. I was about to say, like, if this is a, if this is a bald jack, if this is a bald joke, well, it, it's hurtful, but you're right. Oh, you. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second, I'm gonna. Yep. I got you. Then you are a naked mullet. Hold on, I just have to check something real quick. Like, the, the things happened with Twitch again. Uh, peace out, buddy. Have a good day at work. M Mickle just took off. Oh my. So that's... Oh, Maroon's Razor. That's why that guy was named. Alright. You know what? That might not be a bad quest to do. No, you weren't. No, I don't think you did. No, I... Like, the hat fell off, and the snowman is be beginning to really tilt. I think it's going to fall over either tomorrow or the next day. So I took the hat and the scarf off. Yeah, I'm sorry. But I didn't want your hat to get lost. Like, the hat had already blown off. 
It was on the. It was uh, on the like. It was just on the ground next to uh, Mr. Snowman. Sire Snowbro, that's his name. Will not fall to the neighbors, but the neighbor snowman has fallen too. Come on, Uthgird, where are you? Ah. Uh. Different followers, same story. Never around when you need them. Ooh, potatoes. Elvires. Miriam. Miriam. Hold on a second. Where the... Where the heck is Uthgird? Like, she's just totally gone. She disappeared. What the heck, Uthgird? Where did you go? I'll wait a whole day here. She might, yeah. She knows that I'm about to give her a bunch of heavy crap to carry. And I use her as a meat shield. Yep. <laughs> you typed it just as I said it. And she didn't even appear when I did the 24-hour wait. I'm so screwed. Uthgird, what the hell? Not even Fondle was this unreliable. Like, did she just say, like, fuck it, I'm out of here? What's going on? Uthgird. Uthgird! Where are you? Oh! Half expected to hear Scooby Doo going like, Rover here! Uthgird, what the. Why? I'll give her another 24 hours. Uthgird, if you don't show up now, I'm, I'm going to be very, very sad and lonely, and I'll be disappointed in you. You were my rock, and I depended on you. I depended on you, and, and in my time of need, you dipped. Along with all my valuable staffs. No! Are, are you nuts? No! What, 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 what do you mean, drink my booze? Drink, drink my booze. Get, get the, get out of here. No. How dare you? Booze isn't for drinking. It's for collecting. I can't even fast travel. Why? Oh my God. I do. Like, do you not? Like, do do you not? All right, so I'm I'm gonna have to do some weight management. I believe this is called, or I'm gonna just have to hobble my happy ass to Falkreath. I'm not too far from home. It'll only take me like a how like an hour at this rate. <laughs> the Yu-Gi-Oh binder. The man with the booze binder. No, you're thinking of Bond from the Seven De Deadly Sins. He collects booze labels. I'm gonna have to get rid of all my pelts, aren't I? I worked hard to collect those. 
Is it? Is it really different? Alright, so, desperate times, desperate measures. I usually collect my pelts, but I think now instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of crafting. Been gifted with this tanning rack and a blacksmith setup out here. No, get out of here, no! I absolutely will not be drinking all my booze. Thank you. I worked hard to collect those bottles. Alright, so that's enough leather. Alright, this is the plan. We're gonna get our blacksmithing up and I'm gonna dump all of these leather things. Collect them! And then at the end of the game, I'm gonna drop all of them in my house, and I'm gonna see if the game crashes. I'm a simple man with simple desires and pleasures. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate her doing it, man. Love Black, love Black Kitty. But she telling me to drink my booze, which is a no-no. She is sweet savage in Discord. She's my girlfriend. Hold on a second. Now I gotta drop all this, unfortunately. Like, this is the only way I'm gonna get my carry weight down. Or, wait a second. If I remember to come back here, I don't see what I will, actually. I'm gonna put all of these armor pieces in this barrel right here. Okay, so that's taking care of a bit of my carry weight. But yeah, my follower just totally up and dipped on me. Like, I have no idea where Uthgird is. Uh, she very irresponsibly, if I might add, left me all alone here, by myself. Like, she knew I was going to give her a bunch of heavy shit to carry. And she was like, no, screw that. That's honey mustard? Yes, mustard mama. <laughs> yes, she, she is the one who calls in the mustard storms. Writer of the mustard wall. She is the Mustard Madame. You're not the sharpest tool in the shed. You're looking kind of dumb, with your finger on your thumb and the shape of an L on your forehead. Hold on a second. I'm just trying to think, what else can I put in this barrel? Oh, I don't want to set the Nordic carved armor in here. Oh, it looks so cool, and I really want to wear it. Oh. Okay, the steel helmet. Ah, oh, that's really good. Oh, this hurts, guys. This really hurts. Uh, I guess I can put this war hammer in here. But does it make sense not to live for fun? Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. <laughs> You're a trendsetter. Broken mouse never change. Well, and I guess if I put in both of the like, both of these orcish shields, yeah. Okay, I can finally fast travel. It's Crack Tusk Keep. I gotta remember that. So hopefully, if I fast travel to Lakeview Manor, Uthgird is gonna fast travel with me. Okay, got it. Where were you? I'm so disappointed in you right now, young lady. We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? Alright, I'm going to take the staves. And here I was 
about to give something nice to you. And he just took off and ran on me. You're how you like that. It fits well, doesn't it? You spoiled, Uthgird. You spoiled and you don't even know it. Alright, where is... Like, are those seriously the only Nordic pieces I had? Here, you can have that uh, steel plate helm. <laughs> I'm way too tired to finish that. You wish you could, though. Like, so much to do, so much to say. So what's wrong with living in the back streets? You never know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. Oh, who dares? Where did you guys come from? What? 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 No! In my own home! When I was just having a pleasant conversation. Dude, I gotta go through all of that again! I'm smiling so that you don't. I, I'm smiling to hide my rage. I'm secretly seething. Yes! I got ganked and shanked! Like, dude, they took me behind the house! Like, they bend me over, man! I'm not happy right now. I'm, I'm, I'm not having a good time, guys. Why they gotta do me like that? Treating me like yesterday's rotisserie chicken. Said you trash. And the conversation is trash. Your house is trash. Or we're gonna gank you and kill you and take your house. Screw you, kid. I uh, just took it like a bitch. And there was nothing I could do about it. They done. They done got me. No, it was just a random. It was a random group of bandits. I had no affiliation with those people. They were not invited. <sighs> okay, I have to take deep breaths. Keep my pimp hand strong. I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna have to be quite stern with Uthgird. And then I'm going to gank those guys. I'm gonna gank the gankers. Because they earned it. They deserve it. They, they, they deserve to be ganked. Okay. You just gave me angel wings. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna just... What, am, what what should I what should I oh yeah that's it I'm gonna toss out the fur armor okay now I'm ready to go you start lurking now zero awaits you got it bro do good work all right don't let the mace drive you insane I have to gank the gankers now my whole yeah I guess I'm a guardian angel now Okay, Fondle, how come you didn't tell us? Where are those guys? I'm upset with all of you people. What's going on over Are you the guy? Are you the... Come here. No, no. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Not in my house. You're not killing my wildlife. The maze would never drive you insane. How can it when it already has? 
Oops. Wrong button. How'd you go? Oh! Oh, I... I got my brain! This is making me insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain! And it's doing that, like, that thing where it gives me the weighted heavy walk. After I load in. <laughs> okay, so here, here is what's gonna go down. I have to select... Uh, you are the maze. You're amazing. Gonna select unrelenting force. I really dislike these people. So you now you must die. You are trespassing on private pro. Pretty. I think I'm gonna go crazy before you do, Broken Mouse. I am I am the dragonborn how dare you how how dare like you you Skyrim vermin you you bandits be disrespecting me in such a manner I have two meat shields here there's meat shield number one she's doing really well Okay, so we're gonna go with the same strategy. Stamina, heavy armor, okay. Sorry. Ruth Guard pretends that she cares, but she doesn't. Now go and finish them, and then we're gonna do some trading real quick, and I have to go back and grab all that stuff. You're gonna be carrying it all. You're taking responsibility for this, Ruth Guard. That's quite an astute observation. You're, you're right, sir. How can you be bereft of something that you never once had? Or bereaved of something that you never once had? The, 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 the Dora. The Explorer. Okay, so we're, we're all ganging up on him with bows now. That's fine. It's, it's not like I can do anything about this. <laughs> I'm already over encumbered because I'm greedy. My priorities are not stellar. I really should have gone up and killed him before I grabbed all that stuff, but I'm what's known as a greedy bitch. That is what they term me in the hood. Uh, is what they know me as on the streets. Oops, sorry, you're good. I'm not actually sorry. How dare you abandon me and make me leave all that stuff in that fortress? I was trying to make a profit off of that. You were selfish and greedy, you're good. Reduce him to ashes! There we go. Now, Uthgird, I, I have some stern words that I must exchange with you. We've stopped. What is it? Well, I, I guess I'm actually giving you something. You I feel like I'm rewarding bad behavior here. <sighs> May my pimp hand be strong and my will be firm. Okay, I actually need to equip this. Give you those. And uh, you're gonna need to carry all this stuff. Yeah, she does. Like, why does she look angry? I promise you, I'm more upset than Earthgird is. I'm significantly more upset, upset than Earthgird. <laughs> the maze. 
See how it has reduced you, sir. Look what it has done to you. An affliction upon your very soul. Let's get iron, sort of shocks. Yeah, let's do the circle of Emina Conjuration. Oh, yeah, the gauntlets. I really like those. I can't get rid of those, but I can't get rid of that to shield. That can go. Necklace of wielding and the ring of wielding. These are both super useful. And it looks like I can get rid of the minor wielding and necklace of stamina. Your time has passed. Okay. Got some good enchantment levels there. Let's go ahead and enchant this dag these daggers. I don't have Banished Daedra. That would be the most valuable enchantment I could put on this. Otherwise, it looks like the most valuable enchantment I can use is actually Stamina Damage, not Absorb Stamina. Go figure, right? That's kind of weird to me, too. You'd think that Absorb Stamina would be much more valuable than Damage Stamina. And we're going to go ahead and chant this Orcish Dagger, too. And I don't want to enchant my bow with anything. So that's it for now. Well, actually, let's see what we can put on these boots here, right? What would be the most valuable enchantment we could put on these boots? Fortify one hand it is. Alright. Just one second, I gotta check something again. I know I've been going in and out using Task Manager, and I apologize for that. Alrighty, that looks good, that looks good. Why is it only saying two? That is so weird. That is very weird. Okay. Me? Oh, dude, I've been fine. Really relaxed. Got a few errands done today. Cooked some awesome burgers. Yeah. Mostly, like, chill is the right word for it, you know? Just very relaxed. How about you, Broken Mouse? How are you feeling today? And while I'm here, I might as well deposit all the heavy stuff. Oh, boy. Now, after all of that madness, like, I'm finally starting to crash. Be careful. feel like I have to lean in a little bit to see what I'm doing. Here we go, my dragon bones and my mammoth tusks. Because dragon bones and stuff are nice. But, I, like, ivory is rare, it's precious. These animals gave their lives for my materials. Gonna find a nice place to store it. It's worthy of being with the dragon bones. Cut a cursed mustard post. Yeah, interesting is a way to put it for corn. Are you feeling They're sick? definitely unique. I used to listen to corn a lot when I was in high school, but uh, like I kind of just drifted away from it. And they've kind of drifted away from me, if you know what I'm saying. Like, all that dubstep -y stuff that they've been into in recent years has really kind of turned me away. Yeah. Alright. So far, so good with this collection Yeah. I don't think I have anything else I need to deposit into it. And let's check it out. Oh, both of my shivs are still in the case. It's a miracle. Uh, 
And I don't have any Quicksilver ingots. Oh, I have one Quicksilver ingot, so I can fortify... Yep. I should be able to fortify that Nordic armor that I just gave to Uthgird. Uh, I can't fortify any of my stuff yet, because unfortunately I don't have the, uh, the perk that allows me to uh, fortify enchanted armor. That might be something I have to do today. I'm not interested in making overpowered armor yet. I don't really feel like it's that time of the game. But, uh... At the very least, I want to, to be able to fortify my current set. <coughs> Mammoth Cheese Bowl. Oh gosh, I've, I've been collecting some weird stuff. <laughs> I just like, I like scrounging, man, you know? Anything that looks valuable, I take. And I like cheese. In an unapologetic manner, I, I love cheese. Like when I was a kid, I would just eat the whole block. Sorry, not sorry. Alright. Oh, and I'm sorry, I thought I'd address it, but I didn't, I flaked, and I apologize. I'm glad that you're doing good. Let's get going. I I'm glad you're doing good, Broken Mouse. What do you need to take? Okay, give me this, and this. Guess how dare you abandon me. Oh wait, no, I can't use this workbench for that. It's this one right here. That gives me some nice smithing experience. Did you see that? I think that might be the way to go for this playthrough. Because I don't want to invest too much of my time. I, I, I don't want to invest like too much of my time just grinding up smithing. Because again, I, I'm, like, I'm under the impression that, that would be a little boring to watch, you know? Here. And a, a little boring what to do. do. To Been say? there, done that. Like, I'm not interested in that kind of thing. And, uh... What have you been thinking about for zero? Of a moving exit? My god, dude, why? <laughs> why would you do that? Like, and you're gonna let people you love play this thing, right? <laughs> why would you do that to people you actually like? That sucks. Like, bro. The exit's where you say it is. Just like Princess Peach. She's moved to a different castle. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? I just emptied out my inventory. Now you're gonna make me go back to put away my dragon bones. Yeah, that's not terrible. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. You're not taking me out like that, dragon. Uthgard. Guards. Do your business. Yeah. That kind of reminds me, like, if you've ever played RuneScape, then it reminds me of the agility course in Karamja. Because, like, the goal constantly moves and shifts. And sometimes it's a place too far away for you to be able to fe feasibly reach, even if you're a, a high level and get everything correct. Yeah, you guys got a point. I should be shooting. Oh, I guess I'm healing again. The dragon's got it off of me. You know, I'd rather the dragon be attacking me than anybody else in the city. Because, like, for some reason, when a dragon attacks, 
all of the non-essential NPCs aggro the damn dragon and start attacking it with knives. <laughs> like, why would you do this, guys? It's a dragon. What's got it into these random NPCs' heads? That it'd be a good idea to come out and fight this thing with the guards. Like, why wouldn't they go straight inside? I'd get it if you were like a war veteran, or if you were like the blacksmith and you had a nice set or something. But otherwise, like, this, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's big enough, I think, well, I guess it does make sense, but the dragon seems to have aggroed onto like an animal up there or something. Oh no, that was a lightning strike, so it found a mage. Looks like there's probably some bandits up there that it discovered, and now it's attacking. So I gotta go up there and chase it. This, this is wonderful. Yep, there, there's the guy right there. Like, you can see flame in his head. Oh no, those are Thalmor. Great! Strong thoughts. Power thoughts. Oh, don't you kill Cammy. You go away. Screw you, dragon. <sighs> okay. Now I can finally sell my loot. Don't you stop me, dragon. Power thoughts? Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, how dare I even attribute that to another individual? You're right, power thoughts are exclusively reserved for our cats when they're running around chasing each other at 3 a.m. We have to be positive about it so we don't eat the little dudes. Yeah, right? If it just disappeared in front of your eyes, like a big red X or a stop sign popped up in front of you, and it just moved to a different location. <laughs> Yo, Tristo. I cree. I cree. Steel's good, but the finest weapons. Alright, let's see if you got some corundum. I think it's uh, corundum that's used. Uh, to fortify uh, plate armor. I'm still here. Because I, I'm, I want to start today? upgrading my armor as a way to get my smithing up uh, casually. Uh, where is that thing? There it is. Let's go. Yep, it's Corundum. And it gets me a little bit extra cash. Let's get going. What do you need to take? Alright, so she's got the boots, the helmet, and it looks like she has gauntlets too. So I only need to give her... Well, I do need to give her the gauntlets. Where are they? Here they are. Come on, brain, stay with me. Don't don't poop out of me yet. I need you. Like pep talk, brain. You got this. You're not ready to go to sleep yet, brain. You're you're, you're strong. You're a survivor. Like don't go towards the light. Don't go towards the light yet. Only a hearty soul. Looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage? Or deal some damage. Okay. There we go. 
Ah, oh, this feels so good to be getting rid of all of this. Oh. Like, I wasn't even the guy carrying all this around, and I can feel a weight off my shoulders. Let's see, do you have a dwarven ingot? Dwarven metal ingot, anybody? No? That's fine, I forgive you. Steel's worth every something. Okay, let's see what else I got. Okay, yep, I have carry away from those dragon bones, so Uthgird. What do you need I'm not take? going home yet. <laughs> I'm not ready to do more inventory management at the house, like that stupid dragon. But I need all of those bones and scales for the armor I'm going to be crafting. So I, I can't just sell them, you know? Lead on them. I think that the Maroon's Dagger quest isn't Dawnstar. So, yeah, I'm going to be waiting on that. And I think there are more quests that are in this region, right here. Well, at least more areas to explore. Oh, nope. That's right, I wanted to go back. Oh, that's quite correct. I actually needed to go back to... what's the location again? Crack Tusk Keep, that's right. Because I left a lot of va valuable things here that I wanted to sell. Dude, I don't know. I wish Tired didn't feel so exhausting. I don't- I don't get tired. Like, understand tired. I get tired all the time. But why? Why it make me feel like this? I want to be up and doing stuff right now. Sleep is like a robber baron coming to waylay, waylay me in the night, man. It just bends me over and it finds me in the Alps. You know what? I'm gonna live vicariously through my character. I can't sleep yet. Going hard for the next hour and a half. But at the very least, my dude can get some rest. Out of the way. Uh, I don't even care that all the booze I stole from here is restocked. I've robbed this area like on three separate occasions. No, actually, I need to pay. You're right. Yeah, if it's a lady you're looking I enjoy for. this. Sure thing. Yeah, I don't actually own Breeze Home yet. Out of my way. Damn it. I say to the door. Like the door will listen. Yeah, tired. What the hell? Give him his muscles back. That rap for that matter. Like give me the mu like give me the muscly bits for my eyelids, man. Don't I don't want them to be drooping like this. Are you feeling all right, dear? Do I? Oh, reduce stamina, bone break, fever. You know what? I'm gonna take this booze. It's gonna be an energy drive. Give me the ale. Give me the Alto wine. Old lady, quit looking at me. Right. Just stole my muscly bits without my consent. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gives you a mini quest. Damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. Sure, I'll get them the Argonian ale. Argonian ale. I can almost taste it. Sure, whatever. But, like, I, I've reached a conundrum. I want to complete all the quests in this playthrough. But I'm also trying to steal all the booze, and our Argonian Ale sounds unique. So... I might want to keep it for myself. Is there a way that I can talk to him and keep it for myself, or do I have to give it to him to complete this mini-quest? It's a miscellaneous objective. 
I mean. Where, where'd that homeless old drunk go? There he is. That Heimsker's crazy. Him and his tall catalogs. We should just shut up. You know what? I'm keeping this. You can't have it. This is my ale. Do you get to the cloud, this is my booths. I get these. I get the specially unique well, bits. I know you. Oh yeah, that's right. I owe. There's like a 250 coin bounty on me here. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. We're just gonna ignore that. That's right. I could. You are absolutely 100% right, Broken Mouse. Got a lot of steel to uh, I'm willing to risk it. If I have to run out of town again, I have to run out of town again. I'm gonna quick save just in case it doesn't give me the... Like, it doesn't let me steal the ale back. But afterwards, I will have no problems, like, nicking it from him. I just have to find, like... I hope that he goes into an area that that's out of prying eyes, you know. So let's quick save. And uh, I'm gonna give myself all the advantages that I can here. Oh boy, I'm carrying too much to run. Oh, I'm still here. Okay. What do you need to take? I need I need to give you stuff real quick so I can make the attempt. Please please take the armor. Thank thank you. Okay, she's over encumbered too. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> so she, her carry weight is surprisingly less than Fondle's. All right, here's that special alien one. Look at that, Don't you dare drink it. Friend, here, take this here healing potion. I, not anymore, thanks to you, friend. I don't like the way you said friend. I'm not your buddy, guy. Boys, sure, girls, whatever. dogs, elders, there's nobody I won't fight. Helga, get the fuck out of here. I, I'm on some, I'm on some serious business. My favorite. Okay, so he has it in his inventory, and there's a 68% chance for me to get it. Okay, I'm gonna have to increase that with a potion of pickpocketing. So I'll wait until I'm in an opportune location. I'm gonna take that potion, then I'm gonna steal Keep it. Your hands to yourself. We're gonna get the booze back. I think this is gonna be my moment. And the shadow is right here while he's walking by. I ain't asking for much, just a few seconds. Damn it! Ah, oh, you people weren't supposed to walk by here. Okay, he's gonna have to walk, like, past me. And I don't think that anyone besides him will be able to see me from here. Spare a coin for a poor beggar. Okay, here we go. 90% chance. But do I get greedy? <laughs> yes, I got all of his stuff. Yay, we stole from the homeless. Yay. <laughs> got some good people. Looking to protect yourself or heal some damage? Oh, mama! Don't forget to check inside the shop. Uh, that was stupid. <laughs> Why did I invest all that time? To do that? I don't. No, I let I I let him keep the tomato because you know a man's got to eat. But he has a drinking problem, and he he clearly didn't need any more booze. I'm so tired, I bought Corunda Mingots instead of Orcala Mingots. Whatever, I need to sell a lot of shit to this lady anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, put it on there, yeah, okay. Take a look. Okay. I can sell you all my stuff. Oh. Yeah, that's my current setup. I can't sell any of that. Okay. 
Why haven't I been wearing the Elven Bracers of Eminence, Eminence Mything while I've been fortifying everything? But yeah, besides, like besides uh, the ale, I I also took his lock picks because you know, like he doesn't need he doesn't need to, to get into trouble like that. I'm, I'm helping him out. Like I'm trying to keep him. Oh, why did I buy more elk? I just I already s sold those shields. Oh my goodness, brain! Why are you doing this? Stay with me, dude. At the very least, I'm going to enchant Uthgird's sword, or make it better. Come here, Uthgird. I'm still here. Dude, my thinking muscles. What do you need to take? Like the things. Like in 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 the cranium, they're they're gone, man. I, I don't even have a witty response. I can't say more than that. Like, it's so bad right now. Oh my god. I just finished my red eye, like, three hours ago. I should still, like, coffee. caffeine has a half-life of, like, six hours. Why am I feeling so tired? Like, what the hell, brain? I was I was counting on you, man. We had things to do today. Why you gotta do me like this? Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. I'm still here. All right, guys. I trade what do you the need things to with you. I'm I'm gonna give. I'm I'm gonna. Uthgard, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna give you back things now. Here, let me take this. And you're, you're keeping those bones. I don't want those bones, but I want all of these. You don't need those stabs. Those stabs are too pretty. Here, you can have this sword back. That's, that's a cool sword. I, I hope you value that sword, lady. Let's go. That, that should be it. Okay. You think? Oh it's a sword. shit! Listen. I didn't mean it. Did you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avanici? He's the Yorl's The, the neurons. The, right the axions. Like they they've done things to the chemicals. Thanks. They've stolen my chemical brothers. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. I wonder if I can sell her the sword that she just gave me. <laughs> That'd be a bit of a dick move, wouldn't it? All right, let's give her all of it. Ah, what the hell? We we like her, right? We like this lady not that much, actually. You can't have it. <laughs> we don't like we don't like you that much, lady. Okay. You best. Best best leave in in pieces and and and, and stuff. Oh hey, buddy. You look worse. Oh. And everybody's telling me how bad I look right now. It's like you look tired. You look fatigued. Are you Thanks sick? Are you ill? Sure you'll find what you're I don't know, maybe. Everything's for sale. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. They're just making digs at me at this point, man. They 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 don't care. They they're just roasting me. Belted tunic, screw that thing. Uh I really should have put away all this jewelry. That's that's uh, adding up. Oh, really? You broke... That's all the money you have? Bellathor! I, I kind of liked you hearing, like, I accidentally did a fart noise when I said that. Like, Bellathor. <laughs> Bellathor! You son of a bitch! Why do you close your eyes when we make love? and closer at the screen because my eyes are squinting from exhaustion and I genuinely am having a hard time reading things. 
that's where I'm at right now, guys. <laughs> I don't need all of these stamina potions, man. Uh, shit. I, I just said I don't need all these things, right? Yeah, I just said that. Let's get rid of those. Like, those are adding up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Isolda will pay me money for those. Right? It's not my body that's tired. It's 100% my, like... Like, look at my eyes right now. You see, you, you see the circles under them? I, like... I don't smoke weed anymore, man. This is just me being tired. <laughs> like, I'm trying so hard to keep my eyes open right now. Big cheese, dude, bro. Where's the money, home slice? Exactly, Balthor. Are you holding out on us, man? Like, what the hell? Do come back. Okay. Like I'm starting to do that thing again, like the L seating position, you know, like in Death Death Note, how like L has to sit with it, like his feet on the chair, so it helps him concentrate. Like I'm 100% the same way, man. It, it's been like I've had to break myself of the habit because <laughs> like I always wear pajamas when I'm here, and it it looks kind of unprofessional. That's the part I'm worried about. <laughs> Shouted a mountain while doing the back kicks. Oh yeah, with her kung fu. She was she was doing the huayas today, and and she she got really into it. Oh yeah, she wants me to do the tree mission. I haven't done a lot of quests in here yet. I think it's time that I started doing quests in White Run. I want to get this uh, area done with. I, I'm almost done with the Falkreath region. All right. What have you got for sale, lady? Briar hearts. Those do paralyze. Canis roots paralyze. Creep clusters uh, likewise paralyze. Lots of paralyzed fortification. Ectoplasm fortifies uh, destruction. Don't need that right now. But I do need ice wraith teeth. That's invisibility. Uh, Nern root is also invisibility. Salt pile. I want to make some venison stew. Um. Slaughterfish scales are actually fortify heavy armor and fortify blacksmithing. So we need those. Snowberries are fortify enchanting. Sprig and sap is regenerate magicka, fortify magicka, and fortify destruction. All in one. So this is an incredible, incredible alchemy ingredient. Tap, tap root likewise is fortify rege magicka, regeneration, fortify magicka. Uh, void salts, that's invisibility. I'm tired, but, like, I have a long list of useless Skyrim facts that I can still draw upon at any time for any given reason. Yeah, and thank you so much, uh, Broken Mouse, for tuning in with me today. Really appreciate you, man. Always good hearing from you. You take care, you sleep well. And I'll see you again another day, man. Uh, don't need Drought of the Berserker. Draw of the Night, maybe. Elixir of Water Breathing. Filter of Health. Filter of the Warrior, I could use that. 8 p.m. for you. <laughs> it's 10 p.m. for me. Uh, yeah, right? You usually wake up at this time. I'm, I was actually surprised <laughs> that, you were that you were awake earlier today. Uh, yeah, have yourself a good night, Broken Mouse. Don't need any of the Magicka stuff. I'm not really ready to do my Magicka run yet, so I think it'll be better if I just shed some of this carry weight for now. Because these potions really do start to add up, and that's the thing that I'm more concerned about. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the skirmishers filter. We're not going to use that. Solution of health might be a thing. Solution of strength might definitely be a thing. I'm never going to use aversions. <laughs> good night, good night, good night, good night. Fade, fade away, fade, 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 fade. But have a good night, man.
Potion of Enhanced Stamina, that might help, but at this point my stamina is already getting, like, I have the vegetable soup, so I don't use a lot of that type of thing, you know? Uh, Draught of the Night, I've never really noticed that these potions do a lot to, to, to help with uh, your defensive rating. And your armor, armor rating only, like, it caps at like 568 total anyway. So at a, at a certain point, it's like fortifying your heavy armor is kind of useless. I'm not going to be using Draw to Destruction anytime soon. I'm not ready to do magic yet. So, like, if I have to be ruthless and really think about things here, then anything having to do with fortifying magic of any kind is just dead weight. Like, I, I'll need, like, magic of regeneration because I do use healing quite often. And it might be that in a clinch situation I'll need that, but yeah, for now that looks like it's about it. Now let's see if she's been holding out on me. I think that she has like a giant's toe in here somewhere. Uh, the death bell, I didn't see that in her inventory. Uh, death bells are fortify slow. It's not fortify slow, but it's a slow poison. And uh, the reason why you want to know these things is very simple, very straightforward. The more expensive your alchemy potions are, like, the more experience they give you when you're crafting. And when I'm ready to uh, brew all of my potions, I have my 100% fortify alchemy set up and all that. Like, having, like... Uh, slow poison, paral paralysis, invisibility, all of those are, are some of the most expensive potions that you can make and they'll really go a long way towards helping you uh, get those levels fast. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Okay, got the death bell. Do I risk it? What she got? Should I risk it? Nah. Nah, she's got nothing. Alright, spent some money, then robbed or blind. I give and I take, but I mostly steal. I'm kind of a dick. <laughs> I'm never going to apologize for that. I'm kind of a dick. Balagriff's great sword. Yeah, I definitely need to return that. That's just, that's going to be useless carry weight until I get rid of it. Are you feeling sick? <laughs> no, no, I'm a red guard. My family hails from the Imperial province. Uh, but I Wait, home when I was just I yeah, I think I have a seriously high bounty here, guys. But I think that this might be where I call it for the night, guys. Yep. I'm going to end the stream here. I'm tired, too. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This has been Dr. Greenstone. This has been another glorious day, another glorious night. We got a lot done. Oh, no, we didn't. Uthgird really fucked us there. I spent like 25 minutes trying to manage my carry weight when I really shouldn't have. But what are we going to do, man? That's life. Hey, man. Tomorrow's another day. Love you all. Peace out. Stay fresh, guys. <laughs>